Have you ever been betrayed by your loved ones? If not, then you are very lucky. I was betrayed by my best friend. Hi, I'm Mila. Press like and subscribe to the channel. Fiona and I were complete opposites. She was a real beauty, but I... Well, looks aren't the only thing that matter, right? <laughs> Despite all that, though, we were friends. One day, we were sitting in a cafe. Fiona was telling me about something, but I was hardly paying any attention to her. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Jacob and his friends were passing by the cafe. I couldn't help but stare after him. He was so handsome. Wait a minute. Do you have a crush on Jacob? <laughs> Damn it! I didn't want to talk about it, but there was nothing I could do. I had to admit that someone like me had fallen in love with the coolest guy in our neighborhood. You have to take the first step and make him notice you. Are you kidding? Look at me. Looks don't matter. We just need to act. Fiona convinced me to give it a try. I waited for Jacob on the street and tried to talk to him several times, but nothing worked. Sometimes he laughed, but mostly he didn't notice me at all. One day, Fiona invited me over to her place and told me some good news. Jacob invited me to a pool party. You're coming with me. But I wasn't invited, and I have nothing to wear. Nonsense! No one's gonna mind if I bring a friend with me. And as for your clothes... She took an outfit with tiny shorts out of the closet. I doubted it was a good idea, but Fiona made me try it on. It looked stunning on her, but it was bursting at the seams when I put it on. Ugh, I hoped I'd be able to take it off later. Then Fiona did my makeup and covered up my pimples. They were still noticeable though. I looked in the mirror and wilted. I can't do this! You can't Photoshop me in real life! So I'm not going! Oh, come on! You look great! And somehow my friend managed to convince me. There were a lot of guests at the party. Fiona and I were complimented a lot. It might be hard to believe, but Jacob even asked me to dance. I couldn't believe it was really happening! Wow! <laughs> At some point, everyone started changing into swimsuits and jumping into the pool. I immediately moved away. I had always been afraid of water, and I didn't know how to swim. Mila, jump in. Yeah, come on, let's swim. I kept refusing, feeling embarrassed. Then Fiona called me over. I came closer to the pool, and my friend suddenly pushed me in the water. Ah! Why had she done it? She knew about my phobia. I panicked and I started flailing in the water. I was really scared. Someone threw me an inflatable mattress. I tried to climb on top of it, but I was too heavy and it didn't work. And everyone was laughing at me the whole time. I looked at Fiona and I couldn't believe my eyes. She was kissing Jacob. What was going on? After a few minutes, I finally managed to get out of the pool. I immediately went up to Fiona. How could you do that? We're friends. Friends? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I just felt sorry for you. Thanks for doing my homework for me, by the way. I couldn't believe she said that. Oh, <laughs> and Jacob isn't interested in you, so leave him alone. Everyone started <laughs> laughing at me again. I wanted to sink through the floor. Jacob was grinning too. Sorry, girl, but you're not good enough for me. I couldn't bear it any longer, and I ran away. A girl caught up to me by the door and patted me sympathetically on the shoulder. Fiona's been saying nasty things about you behind your back for a long time. Before the party, I accidentally overheard a conversation. How can you be friends with someone so plain? It's embarrassing. We're not friends. Mila just follows me around. Not friends, you say? Prove it. She pushed you into the pool on purpose. Hearing that didn't make me feel any better. Quite the opposite. I get it. Thank you for telling me. I spent the evening at home, crying. Then my parents told me something surprising. I was offered a job in California. This is our chance at a good life. We're moving there in a few days. <laughs> yes! I was glad. I wouldn't have to see Jacob or that traitor Fiona again. I wondered what would await me in California. Do you see that confident beauty? It might be hard to believe, but that's actually me. Let me tell you what happened. Several years passed since we moved. At first, I felt miserable and I mostly stayed at home. But then, I got angry and I decided I would change. I signed up for swimming classes to overcome my fear of water. Then, I started surfing, going to the gym and losing weight. Dad's career took off and we quickly got rich. I asked him for some money so I could go to a cosmetologist. 
And soon, I got rid of my ugly pimples, became more confident, and got great at surfing. I even took part in competitions. Life got better. But one day, Dad had to go to another country for a while for work. Mom went with him, and I was sent to my grandmother for the summer. <laughs> you want to guess where she lived? In my hometown. In the neighborhood where I used to hang out with Fiona. It would be hilarious if we met. Both Fiona and Jacob would be stunned if they saw me. And you know what? We did meet, but their reaction surprised me. One day, I went for a walk and accidentally ran into Fiona. She was hanging out in the park with her friends. Fiona looked me up and down and noticed both my Gucci handbag and Apple Watch. Hi, I think I saw you with a suitcase. I came to stay with my grandmother for the holidays. Cool, well, I'm Fiona. What's your name? Wait, didn't she recognize me? Jacob was sitting next to her. He also looked like he was seeing me for the first time. I wanted to tell them who I was and see the look on their faces, but I got a better idea. I decided I would take revenge on both Fiona and Jacob. I'm Mila, can you show me around? I've never been here before. They agreed and I joined them. While walking, I noticed a poster. Just imagine, swimming competitions were gonna take place here. I immediately decided I was gonna participate. In the evening, I applied for the competition and described all my past achievements. And soon, I got permission to participate. I practiced each morning, and in the afternoons, I hung out with Fiona. <laughs> when she found out that my dad had his own company and I was a swimming champion, she immediately asked if we could be friends. One day, she told me that her parents were very strict. They cared about their reputation a lot, but they were leaving that night, and Fiona was thinking of throwing a party in their house. Oh, you should totally do it. It's not like they're gonna find out about it anyway. I mentally rubbed my hands together with villainous glee. They would definitely find out. I would make sure of it. When the party started, I came up to all the guests and tried to make them laugh. Then, I started sneakily increasing the music volume, and I broke an expensive statuette. After that, I called the police and said I was Fiona's neighbor. Teenagers are making noise in the house next door. And soon, the cops arrived. They called Fiona's parents, and they had to come back. My former friend was in a world of trouble. The next day, I decided it was Jacob's turn. I invited him for a walk, and I started flirting with him. It was pretty obvious he had a crush on me. He was constantly complimenting me and trying to make me laugh. Oh, you should come to my swimming practice in the morning. And he came. <laughs> I mean, of course he did. While I was practicing, Jacob took a bunch of photos of me. You're so beautiful. My plan worked. Lady Luck was finally smiling on me in this town. Everything was going so much better than expected. Fiona told me her secrets. Nothing had changed in the past few years. She was still saying nasty things behind people's backs. She loved gossiping. I've been looking for a friend like you for a long time. The other girls just can't compare to us. Remember Sarah? Her makeup is terrible. She looks like a parrot. While she was talking about her friends, I quietly recorded her on my phone. I wanted to expose her right away, but I decided I would wait for the right moment. Meanwhile, Jacob kept trying to impress me. He gave me various gifts, took me out on dates, and came to my practices. At one point, I caught myself thinking that he was pretty cute, but I remembered what had happened in the past. No way, I wasn't buying it. Jacob was a bastard. One day, Fiona and I went for a walk. She looked really pleased with herself. An awesome photographer asked me to pose for him. I wanna become a model, so this is my chance to shine. I immediately got an idea. I remembered that Fiona was allergic to honey, so I bought a cream based on it put it in a different jar, and gave it to my friend. I bought it from California. It's great for your skin. Oh, awesome, thank you. In the morning, I was woken up by her call. Fiona was basically screaming into the phone. I have spots all over my face and I look terrible. I can't go to the photo shoot looking like this. Oh, it was probably something you ate. You should go to the photo shoot anyway. Maybe the photographer will fix it with retouching. I was acting supportive, but I was actually gloating. When the photographer saw her, he immediately canceled the photo shoot. Fiona was devastated. It served her right. After we left the studio, I told her I had practice, and I instead went on a date with Jacob. I have a surprise for you. You like water, right? He brought me to a dolphinarium. The show was actually really cool. 
I wanted to thank Jacob when I noticed that he looked kind of sad. Hey, is something wrong? No, I just remembered something. I did something I'm not very proud of. I laughed at a girl who was afraid of water and didn't know how to swim. She was in love with me, but I cruelly rejected her. I felt like I'd been struck by lightning. Was he actually sorry? For a few minutes, I even thought of letting go of my need for revenge, but no, I had to get back at them. On the way home, I gave Jacob a hint. You know, I've always hoped that a guy would publicly confess to me, like in a romantic movie. Judging by the expression on his face, he got the hint. Now all I had to do was wait. Remember Sarah, the girl that Fiona had called a parrot? Well, her birthday came soon. She invited us to a club. Sarah's parents had rented an entire room for us. At the beginning of the event, I went up to her. I'm surprised you invited Fiona to the party. Why? Well, she's been saying all sorts of things about you. Sarah looked at me blankly. I then played the recording of Fiona talking about Sarah's makeup and comparing her to a parrot. Sarah gasped with indignation. While she was recovering, I went up to the other girls and I let them listen to the recording as well. Fiona had made fun of almost all of them. Luckily for her, she was running late. I was looking forward to seeing her reunion with her friends. Sarah was about to invite the guests to the table when Jacob suddenly came to the center of the room. Beautiful music started to play. Confetti fell from somewhere above us, and he looked straight at me. My heart started to race. I already knew what was gonna happen. Mila, please come here. Jacob handed me a bouquet of roses. I really like you. Please be my girlfriend. I could feel the envious looks of all the other girls. <sighs> they wanted to be me. If it had been a romantic movie, this would have been the moment where I agreed. But, sorry, you aren't good enough for me. At first, Jacob froze, confused. But then, he stepped back as if he'd been slapped. He stared at me and seemed to realize everything at once. He must have remembered telling me the same thing. You? Yes, I'm Mila, the girl who was afraid of water. At that very moment, I saw Fiona in the doorway. She had heard our conversation and grown very gloomy. So it was you. You decided to take revenge on me. Our neighbor said she hadn't called the police. I was wondering who did it. You even gave me that cream I'm allergic to. I smiled silently, and I didn't try to deny anything. You can deal with Mila later. I have a few questions for you. Sarah started to move towards Fiona, and the rest of the girls joined her. In the end, Fiona was kicked out of the party in disgrace. I left, too. I felt like a winner. However, my triumph didn't last long. The girls didn't want anything to do with me or Fiona. When I saw them on the street, they didn't even say hello to me. They were probably upset with me because of Jacob. Over time, I realized that I missed him. As luck would have it, I remembered all the good times that we'd had. The dates, the gifts, the dolphinarium. My old feelings came back. I suddenly realized that I had stooped to Fiona's level. It all made me really upset and I had a hard time focusing. I kept looking at the place where Jacob used to sit during practice. What's going on with you? You're gonna fail the competition if this keeps up. Something had to change. So I decided I would try and get Jacob back. I came to his place to talk, but he wouldn't listen to me. You knew I was sorry, and you laughed at me anyway. I really liked you, but you're completely fake. I didn't give up. I kept waiting for Jacob by his house and coming up to him to talk. He had once mentioned that he wanted to play hockey, so I went to a sports store and I bought him a stick. I came to his house again, and I handed him the gift. I'm really sorry. At first, I thought Jacob wouldn't accept the gift, but to my surprise, he smiled. We made up and started spending time together again. I was so happy. Soon came the day of the competition. Jacob came to support me. The signal sounded, and we took off. I quickly pulled ahead. At some point, I looked up, and you won't believe what I saw. Fiona was standing next to Jacob. They were kissing. Anything but that. It couldn't be. It was happening again. I was so confused that I fell behind everyone else. Fiona looked at me smugly. It became clear that they had decided to take revenge on me. The old Mila would have burst into tears, but I'm not the old Mila. They didn't know who they were messing with. I pulled myself together, and I won. Fiona was furious. <gasps> Jacob looked lost. I no longer paid any attention to them, and I decided I would just get over my crush. I would never stoop to their level again. 
A week later, I went back to California. Life got better again. I had a lot of friends and fans there. I was a star at my school. One guy even asked me out, and I think I'll say yes to him. By the way, Jacob texted me again. He said that, yeah, he'd been wrong to do it, but he blamed everything else on Fiona. He said that she'd come up with a plan, and he had just agreed since he was upset. Jacob tried to get me back, but I turned him down. <laughs> I'm not interested in all that drama anymore. Do you think I did the right thing, or should I have given him another chance? The Foundation's activities are hidden from the people's eyes, but each of you can face the terrible anomalies and immerse yourself in the atmosphere of a powerful organization. The most dangerous objects leave the secret archives pages and come to life in the SCP Chronicles' unpredictable storyline. And for the most desperate individuals who venture to dig into the secret protocols, we always have a portion of amnestics.